I got fucking messages yesterday suddenly on fucking I was I was high and drunk. I was over here fucking playing Assassin's Creed and shit. I started getting like notifications and at first I thought I was getting trolled. Yeah, yeah. You know, I thought it was one of these homosexuals that they got angry at me or something. Uh, I'm, I don't know why they get angry at me. I mean, I'm the one wearing makeup. They're not pussies. They call themselves gay. They don't even want to wear the fucking the attire. Sons of bitches. Um, I commit, motherfuckers. Anyways, uh, I thought we were getting trolled. Um, but some guy fucking messaged me. Oh, I'm gonna talk about you on the on my podcast. I was like, what the fuck? I was like, send me the link. I'll watch it. And I started watching it, and uh, some funny shit happened to them. Cause they started, they started talking about me, uh, and there he is, Brime the World. That's exactly what I was gonna start talking about. Brime the World Ten. He, uh, they have the Pumpkin Patch Podcast, is what these guys call it. Uh, these guys are some serious nerds. Uh, they they were pretty sophisticated. They had everything on uh, Discord, and people were calling in, and I even called in and chimed in for a little bit and chatted with them. Um, but I just wanted to show you a quick clip of. So an incident that happened to them when they were showing uh, a clip of mine uh, and I'll just let the, the, the shit uh, speak for itself it's shit here you go this happened last night on the pumpkin pie patch podcast you see how that one says part 2 cause part 1 fucked up and you'll see why part 1 fucked up you have to make part 2 here we go this is the one that you kept sending this yes. is the one that you kept posting clips of and everything. Because it's funny. This guy's genuinely funny. Like this. <laughs> uh, the program's a parody. This is not real. Uh, such as just like he gives like a fucking thing. Uh, oh yeah, social medias. Officially, it's called X now. So on X. Uh, at to the man six six five <laughs> on Instagram is at the under underscore underground underscore broadcast. That's for the IG, and we're no longer uploading the TikTok. If you want to go to our TikTok, you can go. It's the underground broadcast. But I'm done. Overnight, my videos went from getting three hundred views to getting five or six. Fuck you! They shadow banned us. <laughs> They muted a lot of my videos because they didn't like what I was saying. Motherfuckers. Then they say I cannot poke Kanye's wife walking around naked and shit. Everyone else posts her pictures of her ass. Why can't I? <laughs> Piss me off. <laughs> Fuck you. TikTok. Anyways, I hope Joe Biden yeah. fucking gets you the fuck out of this country. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, I almost just, my computer dropped off the desk, um, don't know how that fucking happened. <laughs> Wait, you dropped it? I didn't know that's what it was. That's what ended the stream, my fucking scream went fucking, like, I all, do I all, I, like, oh my god. This guy almost broke my computer! Yeah, so, uh, yeah, he, I, I almost broke his computer. <laughs> Anyways, I called in and I talked to him for a while. These guys are cool. They're cool motherfuckers. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're badass. Subscribe to Prime the World. He's down there. Motherfucker's a badass dude. The Pumpkin Patch Podcast. Welcome to the Underground Broadcast. Cheers to you, Prime. <laughs> You sound like a like a friend of mine who doesn't talk to me anymore, Brian. Uh, it's this white dude. He lives like 45 minutes away, son of a bitch. I know where you live. I could drive over there and egg your house if I wanted to. Uh, but yeah, he, he called me a racist and a Trump supporter. I, I, I didn't even vote for anybody. <laughs> and then he, he called me a racist and a Trump supporter because he was going to go downtown to Dallas to the BLM's protest and i told him i'm like dude you're white don't go down there like what if something happens they're gonna they're gonna fucking kick your ass they're gonna beat you up no oh, you you just being a racist and a trust supporter i was like what well, whatever bro go down there you want go get arrested while they pillage and burn the city down you dumbass anyways that guy stopped talking to me because i was too i was too uh i don't know 
uh, he's, he, he became really, really politically correct. Go figure. Oh, well. Anyways, cheers to Prime. Subscribe to this motherfucker. And, uh, and you know, they, they do cool stuff. They were, like, you know, going after motherfuckers that dox people. I just learned what dox m meant last night. I didn't know. Uh, so, yeah, they're exposing. They're exposing motherfuckers. This channel exposes motherfuckers. And they promoted me for a little bit. So, that was badass. Uh, so, cheers to them. Make sure to subscribe to them. They're badass. All right. Let's get with the comments because we got a lot of fucking comments. Like always. Taking an hour and shit. Oh, shit. I just realized I didn't have the comments open. So, give me once. <laughs> Give me this is a, this is what I'm telling you. Uh this is a bad channel because uh it's very uh, unorganized. Oh look at this son of a bitch. Hostrevino, you fucking son of a bitch. You you that last comment like always. Oh I'm going to ring your shit till later. Son of a bitch. I knew it was going to come out. I just knew it. I had a feeling that Houston Texas very own Jose Trevino was going to show up and he did. And we'll get to him. We'll get to him at the end. He likes to be the last one. The last word of the day. Son of a bitch. Fuck you, Joe. We love you. Anyways. We're going to start off with non -chill, chill not Ah, I get it. I'm trying to put like nonchalant. I hate that fucking word, by the way. Nonchalant. You sound like a motherfucking one of these guys who thinks he's better than everybody. Fuck you. Anyways. He says, uh, on the Black Samurais are here. Japan is allowed to nuke us back for this woke shit. Japan is allowed to nuke us just because we nuke them. You dumbass. All right. At any time, they can turn our backs and send us like 70 Gundams. And they've built real ones. They're fucking huge and it walks. Have you seen that shit? The motherfuckers think it's all for show. Motherfucker, they press the button, that shit takes off and flies into the air and comes over here and bombs the shit out of New York. I'm telling you, it's gonna happen one of these days. They're slowly building the robots and shit. We're fucked. Uh, just start learning Mandarin and Japanese and all that shit. You know? Just saying, just saying. Chills! Cheers! Non, chill out. Chill out, chill out, chill, chill not. Alright, let's see who else is here. Oh, Depots! It's been a while, this motherfucker. Um, he said, great show. I'm in the Philippines now, fucking girls. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Cheers, this fucking guy. Hey, you can be fucking boys, too. That's not a problem. You know? Lady boys. Five dollar, five dollar. Oh, yeah, cheers! Send me a picture of them, motherfucker. Right here on, on Twitter. I'll post it here. Over there, you over there with a bunch of fucking lady boys. Oh, yeah. Send me a picture of Twitter. Deep post. We'll post it here. Cheers. Motherfucker in the Philippines. A crazy motherfucker. Hey, tell me if you run into uh, Andres Sanchez over there in the Philippines. Tell him, tell him I said hi. Son of man. Oh, yeah. All right, let's see who else is here. Oh, I, this guy, it's been a while, but I remember this guy. Ora, or Hanamin, or Hanamin. He's, 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 uh, he's commented before and I didn't know his name then. I don't know it yet. Um, Quest QAnon, he's a QAnoner, fellas. He believes in Robert Kennedy, still alive. Not the one right now, JFK's son. Still alive, he's gonna come back, be the Jesus for America. Anyways, uh, he puts on the James Gunn throw shade at Snyder. Hashtag fire James Gunn. Hashtag boycott DC Studios. Hashtag boycott WB Warner. And David Zaslav. This communist ass. And hashtag restore the Snyderverse. Even though it's on Netflix because Netflix already paid this son of a bitch $300 million to spend their money not making anything good. Uh, so yeah, he's not he's not going back. Cheers! Or or Hanamin. I'm probably butchering the shit out of his fucking foreign name. Alright, alright, let's keep going.
Anthony Timmons, this hog motherfucker. He says, uh, fucking Joe, who the greaser sending me Twitter messages? That son of a bitch. Fuck you. Joe Cool, we're running a show right now. Send me Twitters. Anthony Timmons on the Puff Daddy is very sorry, y'all. He's disgusted. Yeah, Sean, so are we. Is this fucking guy for real? If this was anyone else, they would have been surrounded by 20 cops beaten, cuffed, and bent over and violated in the back of a squad car. On a better note, Congratulations to the Son of Man for his 606 subscribers! Oh, yeah, yes! Uh, we couldn't have done it without any of y'all motherfuckers. And everyone who, who, who listened to my advice about making 10 fake accounts and subscribing them to us, thank you for that too. You know, this channel is completely made out of bots. We have 606 subscribers and only 35 people saw the fucking podcast. So I don't know where the rest of the subscribers are doing. Uh, maybe YouTube's not even showing them the videos. It's not even coming up on their feed. Fuck you, YouTube. They always got, gotta be against me. Why? Because I'm brown and I wear makeup? Son of a bitch. Fucking look better than half of the YouTubers out there. And shit. I don't see Melody Mac looking this hot. You know? And I don't trash motherfuckers like she does. The hateful little girl. She's cute though. Cheers, Melody Mac! <laughs> anyway. Cheers to meds. The shit. Love you. Uh, he also says on the Diddy Takes Responsibility short video. This guy's dog shit. The only thing he's sorry for is that it was caught on video. Yeah, yeah, you're not lying, a motherfucker. He's lucky that, uh, we're lucky that the, the cameras exist so we could see that shit. You know, back in the day, women got beat left and right no one, and no one saw anything. No cameras, motherfuckers. Can't do nothing nowadays. You take a piss in a corner somewhere, they're gonna get arrested because they got video on cameras and shit. All right, you go drop off a package. You want to steal something? Somebody delivered, motherfucker. The doorbells right away start recording you. They catch you, motherfucker. That guy will follow you home and rape you. <clears throat> or at least I would. Somebody does that to me. <clears throat> just saying, just saying. Oh, that's the like Panda Express coming up again. Anyways, cheers, Timmons. Thank you for commenting, you motherfucker. Love you. Oh, Sean Rutherford. Oh, are you related to Rusty Rutherford? And shit. Or what was his name? Rusty Shackleford. Yeah, that was his name. Rusty Shackleford. Oh, for King of the Hill. Not the identity that fucking Dale, that Dale would fucking uh, pretend to be. And shit. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Anyways. Sean Rutherford on the James Gunn uh, attack Snyder video. Is this satire? Satire. I mean, I know what tire is, but what is satire is? Motherfucker, don't be coming up here with your motherfucking French language, motherfucker. We're in America. You speak American on this channel. Dumbass. Cheers, Sean Rutherford. <laughs> Probably one of the smartest fucking people that's ever commented on this channel. Just to let you all know. <laughs> that's the truth. I hate when motherfucking pussies are all like, Why is he wearing makeup? What is he? Why is he talking like that? Fuck you, you idiots. You read the fucking message in the beginning. You'll stop embarrassing yourself in the comments. Anyways, that was a smart motherfucker. Uh, he still questioned it, though. He still questioned it. <laughs> Anyways, Anthony Timmons on the Beetlejuice looks good. He says, I haven't gone to see a movie since Captain America Civil War. That was a good movie. Beetlejuice may be the one that gets me back to the theater. I'm probably looking forward to this movie more than Deadpool and Wolverine. I don't trust Disney. Um... 
Yeah, I mean, I whatever. I wasn't big Beetlejuice fan. I mean, I like Beetlejuice, but I wasn't like a huge fucking fan and shit. Uh, so, but yeah, man, it, it, it doesn't look bad. It looks like it looks like it's a sequel to Beetlejuice. It looks faithful to what the fucking shit was. You know, it's Tim Burton for fuck's sake. You know, it's gonna be good. Gomer actually put reply to him and said he's actually looking forward to this. No Alec Baldwin, or even better, who used to get coffee. Uh, who used to get coffee to Kathleen Kennedy? Baldwin used to get cow coffee for Kathleen Kennedy. What a loser! He says hashtag. Life. I didn't know that. Gomer. It's a pretty good tidbit there. Uh, Timmins on the sun hurt his throat with the Sony. Ass. Well, at least Sony isn't Disney. And that's all I can say about that. I'm pretty much over the whole superhero thing. Give us something new already. Yeah. I don't know. Right. We've seen the peak of superhero movies. From here on, it's just trash and money grabs. That's all it's going to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gomer, quit jumping to later, you son of a bitch. That's a topic for tonight. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> the Garfield movie. Uh, we are going to talk about that later. <laughs> Cheers, Gomer. I love you. George. On the George R. Martin is lazy fucking Martin video that I made. Rocco fuck my life. Let me hit it for the Satanist. Where you at, motherfucker? This is where I put you. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Rocco. He says, son, House of Dragon is going to kick arse. George should just give up the rights to his two helpers and let them continue on with the franchise because this guy's super lazy and we're not going to get any quality out of him anymore. Um, I heard about that. He has, like, maybe, fuck, maybe like 10 years ago. No, yeah, I don't even know. It might have been even more than 10 years ago. But this motherfucker got two helpers, and these helpers were basically super fans. Like, these two, it's a guy and a girl, and they're super nerds that have read and know everything about the books that he's written. And so basically all they do is that they proofread his stuff, like when he finishes a chapter, they read it, and then they correct him and tell him, No, you can't say this because this guy's actually related to this. And his great grandfather is this person, so this is not right, because he doesn't. He's written so much shit and so much lore he doesn't remember. But these nerds are so into it that they literally correct him, uh, and that's why he, he he hires these two people. It's a guy and a girl. That's not a bad idea. He should just let them. They're so they're so fucking into this shit and they're so nerdy. They will probably fucking finish writing the book for him and and and, and write the rest of the shows like that. This motherfucker's gonna take, gonna die, and we're never gonna get anything out of him anymore. Dumbass. Uh, good point, Rocco. I'm excited for House of Dragon season two, but at the same time, I'm like, man, it's gonna end in like nine episodes, and then I have to wait another two years to see the next one. Fuck you. I already saw the whole thing on YouTube. I know how House of Dragon ends. All right, I'll spoil it for you because this is a spoiler channel. At the end, everybody dies, and they kill all the fucking dragons, and there's no one left except the children. And so they just decide to marry the, the, the youngest boy uh, of, 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 the, of the blacks and the youngest girl of the fucking of the greens, and they marry them together so that the lineages can just stop fighting. Yeah. But by that time, there's no more dragons and shit. They have, like, fucking the smallest little dragon that only grows, like, three feet and shit. So that's why when we get to House of Dragon, uh, uh, the, I mean, Game of Thrones... Actually, you get to the Hedge Knight first, and then Game of Thrones. But by that time, there's no more dragons and shit, and they're just myth. Uh, because these idiots fight a war and destroy each other. That's basically the way the series is going to be. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be badass, though. I love it. I love it. Cheers, Rocco. Thank you for that ass. Oh. Holy fuck. Out of fucking outer space. It's none other then Jitsum is prime! More than meets the eye. 
I don't have an intro for him because his intro is is AI reading his comment. So let's hear what Jitsumits has to say from outer space for us. Here we go. Greetings, wokest, or should I say dick? Ha 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 ha. I made a funny. Anyways, let's get down to serious, sterner stuff. I heard your show and it was cool. I was really impressed by Mr. Trumpet's comment last week. Very inspiring, especially with the heavy litigation going on in New York. Never have I seen this level of corruption since the quintessence. It seems like your government fabricates propaganda, grabs it and packs it into a nice shiny meal for the masses to consume. Fortunately, evil never prevails and we are standing back and on standby. If needed, Mr. President, I usually save the politics for Gomer and his political ways, but I had to add my cyber sense in. Please forgive me, son, if I sent this message too late. Before I leave, I want to say, son, continue on being a dick till all are one. Hashtag woke pack. Hashtag woke pack for life. Cheers! <laughs> I like this AI. Um, but... I don't know why sometimes it speeds up what it's saying and sometimes it slows it down. It sounds good. I mean, I think it actually does sound like Optimus. It really does. Uh, but it's a mess. Um, I don't know if you actually sound like Optimus or not. You need to let us know. Uh, but that's what I think you sound like. I'm glad you're understanding our slang. The dick doesn't actually mean phallus. Just being fucking guys, you know what I'm saying? Pussy, dick, son of a bitch, shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry about it, fucking alien. <laughs> Anyways, cheers. I appreciate you uh, sending me transmissions from the quintessence or whatever the fuck that means. Uh, cheers. Woke pack for live, motherfucker. Hit it for you, motherfucker, because you are a woke pack member. Gomer Kyle on the Sun Herder's throat with the Sony ass. He says, well, tell this Sony fella to stop grabbing your head so hard when you're blowing him. Because I hurt my throat. This fucking guy. Ah, that's a good one, Gomer. Cheers. He says, hashtag. Live. Hashtag. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, fuck you, Gober. P.S. You know we're real friends because that's the way we kid with each other. Cheers. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love you guys. You know what it is. Gomer also said on the Amber Rose loves Trump. Let's fucking go. Guilty or not, he's still my president. Trump 2024. And yes, I have proof of this slut too. Cheers. Hashtag. Ah, uh, yeah. fucking Amber Rose and her fucking. Have you seen her clit pics? <laughs> She's on the internet showing her clit, man. No old pictures, but it's still her. Yeah, before she had the tattoos on her forehead like a dumbass. Oh, isn't that the stupidest trend I've ever seen on people? Tattoos on the forehead or on the on the cheek? A, a big tattoo on the cheek like this. That's the stupidest trend ever. Unless you're gonna be a rapper. And fully commit yourself to the art. You have no business tattooing your face. You idiot. I'm just say. Or you're going to be in a circus. That's acceptable too. You're going to be in a circus. Or the carnival. The carny. That's fine. Alright. Rapper, carny, or circus. In other words, you have no business. Oh, wait, wait, hang on. MS-13s. Almost forgot. Alright. You be MS-13s, you definitely can get tattoos on the face. Everyone else, you have no right to be getting tattoos on the face, you dumbass. All right, cheers, go bird. All right, let's keep going. Go on the Puff Daddy's very sorry, y'all. He's only sorry because he got caught. Trump's guilty, but this wannabe pimp Gomer has video and documents as evidence. Oh, groomer. Uh, has video and documents as evidence on him, but Trump's guilty. Man, fuck the system. Cheers. Hashtag. Woke pack. Oh, 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 
or live. Hashtag Trump 2024. Welcome, or the reason why that happened. Oh, okay, okay. Gomer, fuck you. These are topics for tonight. You're trying to go into comments and shit. We're going to wait for later. Son of a bitch. You always try to pull this fast one on me, you motherfuckers. Just try talk, talking about shit I'm going to talk about later. You dicks. All right. Super Saiyan Joku. Puff Daddy, sorry. He says, he's not apologizing to her. Really, after seven or eight years, he took her human dignity. Yeah, yeah. And a bunch of other shit. Emotionally, security was ripped away. He was yelling, take that, take that, take that. Every time he hit her, it's going to take her years to recover. If ever, who knows what else lies with Diddy's lies, more hotel cameras. He's really sorry he got caught at the end of the day. Cheers, Ma Flowers. Hashtag. Live. Oh, yeah. oh, motherfucker. He is sorry. That he didn't invite that fucking white Palestinian hating executive. Because that's the guy who said he didn't invite me to his orgy. Fuck him. Release the video. That's what ended up happening. Yeah, yeah, that's the real story behind it all. Oh, fellas. oh the cunt is fucking here. Let me headed for this Australian might. You can feel it while smoking. You can feel it while drinking. You can feel it getting woke as fuck. So get your slot ready, cause the cunt is here. Cheers, cut! Hey, remember, it's always. Damn, well, I'm glad you woke up early enough to catch us, motherfucker. They're like Saturday morning cartoons for you over there eating cereal, watching the Son of Man from America. Oh, yeah, you're the shit, motherfucker. Thanks for being here. Next week, we'll finally be back on the regular channel, just so you know. Uh, then the last week will be, we, the ban ends tomorrow. Uh, Y'all should find the cunt on, uh, on IG. This guy posts bad ass fucking artwork a digital art trippy ass shit you can sell t-shirts with that ass i'm just saying people would wear it this badass cunt that's all i'll say uh cheers thank you for being here super saiyan joku and the amber rose loves trump <clears throat> he says trump 2024 all day baby i agree with amber for one thing but who is taking advice from amber rose she's constantly making bad choices like forehead yeah, yeah, forehead tattoos. But that butt is gorgeous. That ass is fucking perfect. Cheers, Mother Flowers. Her pussy's nice, too. She spreads her lips and everything, man. You gotta check out those pictures. They're badass. Cheers! Those pictures are before she had the tattoos, is all I'll say. That back then, when, when Kanye was fucking her, and he cheated on her to go get with fucking Kim. A dumbass. And then Wiz Khalifa's other fucking this chick. Got her pregnant. Now she gets child support from his ass. That dumbass. <laughs> anyway, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Oh! It's not... No, it's none other than that orange convicted felon. The trumpets will sound. Let me hit it for this dick. When Mexico sends its people, they're not sending their best. They're bringing drugs. I want to build the wall. We need the wall. But we have some bad hombres here, and we're going to get them out. And you know how we do in this channel. Thanks to AI, we have the president here live tonight to read this comment for us. Here we go, fellas. Wow. What a terrible week I've been having, muchacho. Not only did Sleepy Joe and his cronies succeed in rigging this trial, but I've been having really bad acid indigestion. Does anyone have any Pepsid AC? Anyhow, no worries. I will still go down in the history books as the first president to revitalize the American economy from within a jail cell. Joe, on the other hand, won't even be remembered by his own reflection because he's senile. Keep up the good work. Son of man, cheers to the woke pack. And as always, hashtag woke pack for life. Yay! 
that was probably the best AI has ever done. Oh! <laughs> he says, going down in history as our first president uh, to fix the economy in a jail cell. That might happen. That might happen. You never know. You never know. We'll talk about that later. Trumpets. Did I go, Mer? Talking about shit for tonight in the comments. Fuck you. Anyway, I'm glad you were, you, you came in here. I know you've been busy all week. Uh, you know, you got the indigestion and now all that trouble, the legal troubles, the woes that you're in. These motherfuckers got your back. Don't worry. Not me. I don't vote. But these motherfuckers, they got your back. Sleepy Joe. <laughs> He's on reflection. Oh my god, this is a good comment, man. I love you, you crazy asshole. Thank you for commenting. Uh oh, we got none other than Houston, Texas, very own Jose Trevino. Houston, Texas. Eh, soy americano mexicano, señor. Para que usted se cuadre, ¿ok? Envidia, puto. <laughs> the raunchiest intro ever. This motherfucker says, What up, you fucking guy? You have to keep it PG because Mrs. Google likes nicey nice. Yeah, this guy gets his comments blocked all the time. <laughs> anyway, it's great show as usual, and maybe my bias is showing, but. The great White Hope Trumpets comment was awesome. Oh, yeah. He said, I was inspired. I was about to round up the woke pack and storm the Capitol. Hey, don't be saying that here on this channel, motherfucker. We get banned. You idiot. Anyways, let me keep going. I have to bleep that out probably for the, for the other version. Son of a bitch. Trying to get us banned. Talking about shit for the FBI. Anyways, I'm definitely going to have to... Clip that for my future show. The sun out of context was the funniest shit ever. And your reaction, son, was the pop cherry on the stormy twat. Oh, cheers, Mr. Trumpet, woke pack, and sun. Hashtag. Live. Hashtag. World order. Oh, uh, yeah, the future world order of the woke pack. Cheers, Hostreña. Love you. Uh, let me make sure that is the last comment. It is. On the sun, her scrote on Sony. Hostreña. He says, uh, classic son, one who should not be named reactions were priceless when you did that. <laughs> <laughs> Sony sucks and has not been throating the fans since Spider-Man 3. <laughs> uh, yeah, he who should not be named. Uh, I don't know what he had set up on his end, but every time I did that, he was he hated it because he says, man, you're fucking loud. on." And I was like, I have a compressor and my shit, so I don't know what you do on your end. We have the same mixer, you idiot. <laughs> he who should not be named the motherfuckers last night from the pumpkin patch were showing he who should not be named they were showing a video of him i had to jump in there in the chat and be like no fuck that guy <laughs> that's why i called in i wasn't gonna call in but i was like how dare they show that son of a bitch on then and try to represent the underground broadcast fuck him and I fucking called in <laughs> on the Discord <laughs> to, to, to stop, put a stop to that nonsense. <laughs> Cheers, Jose Trevino. Oh. All right, all right. That's it for the comments. I appreciate you motherfuckers uh, for, for, for being here and for fucking supporting the channel and shit. We're getting popular now. Other white people are finding us. The Pumpkin Patch found us. A bunch of other motherfuckers. Some ginger guy and shit. It was pretty badass night, fellas. We're moving on up to the east side, to a big apartment in the sky. Except we're brown, not black. 
So it's gonna be good, motherfuckers. Cheers! Open up another beer for ya. <sighs> Whatever you send me to my social media is pictures of your wives naked or your children or dogs or cat in the sky. Whatever you send me, I'll post here. So just let me know and shit. You know, just don't be like Gomer Kyle sending me pictures of his ID and his social security number. Gomer, I'm not gonna put your private information, you dumbass. Uh, just send me just, you know, stuff. I'll put it here. Don't worry about it. We don't have a channel, so, you know, we need it. We need content. Hey, if you like this kind of content, how about giving this a like and a subscribe? And if you want to watch the full show, click on the link on the right or check the description.